I was over my parents' house and I was outside. We was all outside. And all of a sudden, I was looking at the sky and I saw these clouds, but they were like, it was like lines in the clouds, like very vague, like you couldn't see it really if you wasn't really looking for it. But all of a sudden, my attention was drawn to it and I was staring at it and I had a knowing in a dream that they were, somebody was manipulating the sky. So we would think we were seeing clouds or seeing the sky and seeing certain things, but it was other stuff going on. And then my mom and my sister came up to me and I told them, I said, they're manipulating the sky. And when I, and my mom looked and she, she kept looking and looking and she didn't see it at first. And then she kept looking and then she saw it too. And she saw the lines and I was like, yeah. And then all of a sudden I was able to look through the sky and I saw all types of what looked like alien uh, spacecrafts. And I've done videos about this before because those things are in the sky right now. I have seen them. I, I don't care what nobody says. I've seen them with my naked eyes. And I had somebody try to tell me, no, you went into a vision and you saw this and that. I don't care what they say. I know what I saw, you know, and I've said this before. I was, and I'm just going to say it again because it's been a while since I've said it. I was driving home and I was outside and it was pitch black outside because I worked in the country and there was no houses or street lights or anything on this road. They didn't even have street lights. The only light you had was the car light. And I was used to driving this road by now. So I'm just, you know, listening to my music and just, you know, kind of dancing in the car or whatever to my music. And I listen to gospel, of course. And anyway, I'm just driving. I was a strong Christian at the time. And I'm out of my business just driving to work. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I didn't hear this thing show up. I don't know where it came from. There's this giant mother ship just in the air. And I was like, what on earth? And I'm looking at this thing with my, with my eyes. Like, what on the earth is that? And I pointed to it and I said, you better not come near me at all in the name of Jesus. And I was so stern about it and so upset about it. And, and then it didn't bother me. And it, it was, it was sitting there. I just kept driving and went home and just praying. And I started speaking in tongues and I was, I was angry about it. I was like, that demon got the audacity. I was mad as ever. But and then another time, and I've never said this publicly, and I'm going to go ahead and say it. It was another time that I was in the sin of masturbation. And I never released this ever because, of course, it's embarrassing. And anytime I talk about masturbation, it's embarrassing. But I was in the sin of masturbation. And I, and this was, this was a long time ago, years ago. So just FYI, don't commit that sin now glory to God in Jesus name the Lord has delivered me you know and going to hell tends to do that to you so yeah anyway I was in the sin of masturbation at the time and then all of a sudden I was in my room the whole ceiling in my room was completely gone completely gone and this spaceship out of nowhere just it was a giant mothership again, a giant mothership. And, and I just remembered another one too that I'm going to go ahead and say. And this mothership started beaming me up. And I literally came out of my body. Like my spirit came out of my body, my soul, my spirit, something. I came out. And I, my body is laying there and I'm being beamed up in this ray of light. And I started saying, Jesus, I repent. I'm sorry. Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, please. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I fell back in my body and it thumped. When I, when I fell in my body, it like thumped into my body. And then the ceiling was back. And I was like, oh my goodness. I mean, that was clear as day. And then even before that, once again, I was in the sin of masturbation you know, that, that sin has cost me so much. So when I hear people now tell me that, that, that it's not a sin, they can keep doing it, this and this and that, uh, it is just so detrimental how wrong they are, you know, and I don't mess around with that. I'm not going to debate that at all. I'm uh, adamant that it is a very horrible sin. 
And so what happened to me is I was in the center of masturbation again. And all of a sudden, this alien, which is, they all demons. All aliens are demons. Was right next to my bed, staring down at me, right in my face, like staring down at me. And I looked this thing right in the eyes. And I remember when my daughter, my youngest daughter saw them for the first time. Me and her had a conversation and I was, I can't draw y'all. I'm, I'm the horrible drawer. But I was explaining to her and trying to draw out what I saw and how their eyes were shaped. And it, it hit me when I was looking at this alien staring me. Of course, I started saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I started calling out, out the name Jesus. And there's so many reasons why I will never stop using the name Jesus. Okay. And I can tell you right now, I get people all the time, anybody that tells me Jesus is Zeus and this and that, they're instantly blocked. I don't talk to them. You are instantly blocked because that name Jesus has saved me so many times. It's not even funny. So I don't mess around with the name Jesus. So I start screaming out the name Jesus and this entity went away. Of course, I repented because you're in sin. And, and, you know, when you're in sin, you give the rights, you give certain rights over to the devil to harass you and do things um, along that nature. So I had to repent for that sin that I was involved in. And then the, the demon alien left. But I remember when I was looking at the face of this thing, I said, Th those, they, the giants must have went inside of ants. They probably were so giant, these fallen angels. You know, I've seen many angels and I've seen many giant, giant angels. Okay. And I talked about one when the Lord came to me in my room as a lion of Judah. And he had these giant angels in back of him. I couldn't even see their face. I just saw like legs. It was giant. And and I thought about it. These fallen angels probably went inside of an ant. Because if you see one of these things up close, their face is shaped like an ant. And their eyes are, they look like ant eyes. That's exactly what this thing looked like when I saw it. And that's when it hit me. I said, they went in, they probably went inside of an ant. And when I talked to my daughter, when she saw them, she said the same exact thing. She said, yeah, they do look, they, they, their faces resemble like an ant. And so, anyway, you know, I know these things are real. I know that there are things in the sky. And you can say, well, how do planes fly? And how do this and that? And blah, blah, blah. And I didn't understand that either. When I first had these experiences, I kept saying, well, I know, I, I know what I've seen. So how are they in the sky? And nobody's hitting them and stuff like that. And I think the way that they're doing it is through portals. I, this is just what I think. I think it's portals. I think that it's spiritual. It's something spiritual in the sky. And I've had dreams about this as well, where the Lord has shown me prophetically that they are in the sky. And I will put, if I can find those dreams, I'll put them in the description box. And the Lord has literally shown me that, yes, they're there. And, you know, just waiting to attack and, you know, building up more and more. And I'm not the only one that's seen them, by the way. Okay, I'm only giving you guys my experiences. And I don't have a playlist on this kind of stuff. If I did, I would I would give you that too. Because I am not the only one who is, is talking about the stuff that I'm talking about. So anyway, back to the dream. In the dream, I looked in the sky and I saw these crafts in the sky. And it was a lot of them. You know, like I said, I've only seen like one. And this time it was a whole lot of them. But in my other dreams, I have seen a lot of them too. And I knew and I had an instant knowing in this dream that they were waiting to attack. They were planning their attack on humanity. And then I saw that they were watching me like the men in black. I call them the men in black a lot of times. I mean, you they've been called different names. You can call them the fake 144,000, you know, because they have abilities. They have abilities. The Lord showed me that clear as day. And I'll put in some dreams I've had about them. You know, where he showed me that. And, and they are not all the same. Some of them are demons. And some of them are humans that's working with them. But the humans are very satanic. So the Lord showed me that. But anyway, these this group was watching me. They was watching to see when my spiritual sight was going to open. when uh, What I was going to know. They was watching me. Watching me to see what I was going to do and, and things like that. And I've had dreams about that, that they was watching me. And, but another thing in this dream, I knew that they were increasing their numbers on the earth. I was literally shown that the scene in the dream switched 
and I was like walking around cafes and I was seeing these humans eating and I was seeing, you know, humans walking around and I had an instant knowing that which ones was demons. I was able to look at them and I said, that one's a demon. That one's a demon. That was a demon. And they were increasing their numbers. Now, right now, I don't have that gift. But the Lord has shown me that he will give me that gift. I have seen it. And I know people with that gift. And I know their gift is real. I have no doubt about it. The Lord has confirmed their gift to me. I just haven't talked about it too much. But I know people that have that gift. They can see these demons out here. And in the dream, I was able to see them as well. And I, was, and I knew that they were increasing their numbers. And what does that mean? You know, I've talked about it in other videos and I'll just summarize it really quickly that what the Lord has shown me is that when these demons take over a body, they, they remove, I'm not talking about demonic possession. And a lot of people think I'm talking about that. A lot of people think I'm talking about demonic possession. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is they have found a way to remove the human soul completely. There is no human soul there and they take over these bodies. Okay, that is what they're doing. The Lord literally showed me that there is no human soul. You cannot pray for them. There is no salvation for these human demons. And I, you know, I've had debates with people before. You're wrong. You can pray for them, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you want to open up spiritual soul ties to demons? That's between you and God and, and something. But don't be trying to tell me that nonsense because the Lord has shown me point blank. There is no human soul. There is no, you cannot. Pray for something without a human soul. Now, if they was demonically possessed, yes, you can pray for them. You can cast the demon out. There's a human soul present. You know, that's trying to re redeem this person's sanity. But once they're human and they're completely taken over, they have no human soul. And I was shown in a dream that they was increasing their numbers. And it was a lot of them on the earth. And they was just waiting on their chance to invade they was waiting on the call and they was getting they was almost ready the lord showed me in this dream that they was almost ready now the reason i did not want to record this dream is because in this dream throughout this dream i felt that i was mary magdalene and you know that's what i don't like and i i was told in this dream that i had the same type of character that I had back in Jesus day and that back in Jesus day, I had the same character uh, as Mary Magdalene as I do now. And that's something that I know that I'm not no Mary Magdalene and I don't want people thinking that. So that's why I didn't want to post it. But I believe that what the Lord is showing me, cause I've seen, I've had so many dreams about Mary Magdalene that I haven't posted at all, to be honest with you all. And because I, before, when I did talk to a couple of people about it, you know, some people started thinking that, and even I entertained it for a little bit myself. And then I said, no, it's no way I'm no Mary Magdalene. And, um, and so I don't want people thinking that, you know, because I've even had some evil people like witches try to attack me over this thinking I'm Mary Magdalene. I'm not Mary Magdalene. Okay. But I think God just wants me to know that, you know, we, we, me and her have some things in common. But, you know, so that's why I didn't want to post it. But anyway, that was a dream. God bless you all. Bye.